Hello, sweet soul. Happy Saturday. It's January 27th. This is going to be a past, present, and future reading. We're going to call on St. Michael. St. Michael, please return to sender. Anyone sending ill will, your thought, word, or action toward myself or the viewer, we're going to call on the Holy Spirit, angel, saints, spirit guides, and ancestors, and ask for a message for your greater good. So let's see. Let's start with the past energy. Past energy for the collective. Holy Spirit, holy angels, and saints. Past energy for the collective. One more. Yeah. So in the past, you found yourself in an energy where you needed to be independent. You needed to learn your self-worth, self-sufficient. And then we see someone was in and out of your energy or attempting to get in your energy with this deception. This could be a past love. But you were being guided by God in the past. So God was giving you clarity. The clarity that God was giving you was to disconnect, cut out all forms of communication, block this person's energy, release them. Okay, so let's ask about present energy. Present energy. For the collective. Present energy. Yeah, present energy. Present energy for the collective. Yeah. So in the present energy, you've been enlightened to toxic people, places, or things in your life. You've received enlightenment from the divine awareness. You've gone within um, for answers. You've gone in prayer, meditation, however you connect with the divine, and you've taken your power back. I also see in the present moment, you are calling in a passionate new beginning with a new person king of pentacles someone that's very grounded and stable financially secure all right let's look at the near future energy near future energy for the collective near future wow i love this okay yeah Near future, you are definitely protecting your energy. You're holding back from those people that um, are not worthy to be in your energetic space. And you're holding back because you know that you are getting what you deserve. You know that the scales of justice are being balanced for you and you have stability being restored, whether in a commitment or on your own. This is balance being restored moving forward and that's the truth. Truth, clarity, and victory is yours. Near future energy. That's amazing. So I am also going to clarify. Let's get just one more near future, near future. Yeah, because you've healed, you are moving on to victory. So that's awesome. All right. So let's see. Let's use the Rider weight and also clarify past energy. You, you had to be independent. Um, Somebody was coming in in deceptive energy, attempting to get in your energy. If this was a past love, a karmic connection to you, but you followed God's guidance, which was to cut out this person on every level. Communication, elect, uh, electric, <laughs> uh, energetically. Um, you were instructed by God to cut this person out. All right, please clarify past energy. Yeah, let that tower fall. You let it fall. You recognize it wasn't built on a stable foundation, so you let it fall, past energy. Yeah, and you release the regret attached to it. You knew there was nothing more that you could do. Past energy. Yeah, you recognize this person as someone that's a love bomber that's insincere. They cannot commit. Um, on the fence here was someone that worked with others and they played the victim against you. And so this awareness came in. Not only could you not trust this person, but this person didn't have anything to offer you. They just were giving you their burdens. So this is why you, you listen to the divine and you release this person. Okay. Uh, present energy. You are getting a lot of enlightenment about toxic people, places, or things in your life. You're going within for answers. You're taking your power back and you're calling in a passionate new beginning with the King of Pentacles, someone that's very grounded, it's stable and financially secure. This is a gift and blessing from God. Present energy. Present energy. I love it. Cycle's complete with the world. Cycle is complete. 
You've taken your power back. You're strong. You're empowered. You have a lot of divine wisdom. You stay private, present energy. And you're moving on to victory and success. You're just moving on. And you're happy. Because you're enlightened. You know all the answers. You know where you're headed. You're the star. You accept that healing energy in you. You're a healer in some way. And whatever way God guides you to be a healer, you're a healer. Near future, you are definitely protecting your energy. You're pulling back your energy from those that are not worthy of, of you. And you're calling in what you deserve. I see stability being restored, whether in a union or on your own. This is the truth. This leads to victory. Because you've healed, you're being guided by your spirit team to victory and success. Near future. With the near future, wow. I see the illusions are broken. What was meant to block you and this energy of not feeling worthy or good enough, that is an illusion that's broken because what I see moving forward is king to the queen of cups, a loving couple, both highly intuitive, um, both very compassionate and both being, being protected. That's the near future. Divine protection in this union. Near future. Yeah, you're walking away from a toxic, fiery energy. Eight of Cups to the King of Wands in reverse. The King of Wands in reverse is not only a player, self-serving, they're self-absorbed, they're egotistical. This is someone that doesn't care who they hurt. They only care about their own needs. And in the near future, this can be an energetic disconnect um, or a physical disconnect, but you're leaving definitely that in the past. Near future. Yeah, instead, you're focused on your own passions. What lights you up? What inspires you? And you're going for it. And it leads to victory. This is God bringing you the clarity, the roadmap to victory. And you're the empress. And you're going for it. Whether you're a man or a woman, you're the empress. You're just going to go for it. Yeah. Without any stress or anxiety, you know that this is aligned for you. Yeah, you're abandoning situations, people, places, or things that don't give equally to you, and you're calling in multiple wishes and divine love. Complete emotional fulfillment, a happy home, a happy life, all that you've ever wanted. That's all you've ever wanted. Yeah, there's no more confusion. The path is clear for you, and you're making plans for the future now. You're just headed in a new direction, being your too authentic self and cutting people out as you go. You're taking a leap of faith here with a divine partner by your side. If you haven't met this person, they are definitely in the energy. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. So let's get some advice. Angel advice. Okay. What advice do you have for the collective, please? What advice do you have for the collective? Truth and only truth for the collective. Drop your shield because you are protected. The divine has you covered. They don't want you to worry. You're protected. They just want you to be open to healing information. Give it, the divine is giving you the clarity that you need regarding every person in your life and in your past. Yeah, so that you can shift your perception. So you can see the truth in the situation and make the decision that you need to make. Trust your talents in changing times. Trust your intuition. This says, feel loved and comforted. You are loved. You are protected. You are guided. And you're being guided right toward the sun. Enjoy success and happiness. Just trust. Let me get one more. Yeah, be graceful in movement and action. Continue to stay in that hermit energy. Staying private. Staying to yourself, protecting your energy because you are a seer. You have the ability to connect with the spiritual realm. You do receive divinely guided messages. And they're saying, um, they're giving you the clarity that you need to see beyond your current situation. Let's get some advice on this deck. Truth and only truth for the collective. What does the collective need to be aware of, please? Truth and only truth for the collective. Advice for the collective. One more, please. Thank you. Wake God, you are here for a purpose. You're learning and realizing what matters to you. 
Second card is it's safe to let go. You're surrounded by love. And then we got, you are worthy. Aim for what you want and believe in yourself. There's that word again, believe. Believe. Now is the time to hear the messages. See with your heart. Be open to receive the guidance of your guides, the angels and saints, because they definitely are guiding you toward a better life and a better love. Truth and only truth for the collective. You are meant to shine, honey. You are meant to shine. You have a healer energy. I know it sounds crazy in my house right now. I'm so sorry. Continue to be fearless. Continue to push forward. Balance is being restored. And they're saying continue to live in a space of love and gratitude. It's going to keep you in a high vibration. Yeah, you've already done your shadow work. You're ready now to move forward. Um, you know your self-worth now. And that's why you are calling in someone that will mirror your energy. Someone who has done their work. Someone that loves themselves. Unconditional love. You're calling in unconditional love. Not just in, in romantic partners, but in all relationships. Business, career, collaborations. They said continue to rely on your intuition and operate in the energy of integrity and surrender all of your fear, all of your worry, all of the control so that you can move forward, all right? And continue to stay grounded, Mother Earth. Get grounded. All right, guys, this is your past, present, future reading. I love you. Have an amazing day. Bye-bye.